Hi everyone, my name is Isadora. Welcome to drama class. Today we're gonna play two activities, focusing on our body, memory skills, imagination and creativity. Let's learn why we have some fun. Let's start with a warm up, okay? So the first thing that I need from you is for you to imagine that you have a balloon with you. Very good. Now, what I wanted to do is to place this balloon on your hat. What happens with a balloon when we fill it with air? Let's blow and give it a try to see what happens. Wow, did you see that? Every time that we fill it with air, the balloon grows. And when we take the air out of it, it shrinks. Very good. And now I'm going to ask you to do something kind of weird. But we are going to swallow our balloon. What? Swallow it? Mm -hmm. But wait, wait. Our balloon is not going to be like a random type of balloon. Mm -mm -mm. Our balloon is a magical one. So we are going to pretend that our balloon can grow while it's inside our body. Hmm, do you think that that is possible? Yes, it is. Let's see. First, where is your balloon? Here it is. So now... Hmm. It tastes kind of weird, but it's okay. So, pretend now that your balloon is right here on your chest. Okay, and let's give it a try and breathe in. When we breathe in, we are blowing our balloon inside of us. And since our balloon is right here on our chest, our chest is going to go up and down, up and down. Let's see. Very good. Now I want you to squeeze your balloon a little bit and send it to your belly. Okay. Now, every time we breathe in, our balloon will grow right here on our belly. Okay? And our belly also will go up and down. Up and down. See what a magical type of balloon we have? This is great. You guys are doing a very good job. What about if we try something different now? I want you to close your eyes and imagine that the balloon placed on your belly is being sent to your whole body. So everybody, close your eyes and breathe in. Now imagine the balloon right here on your belly is expanding to your whole body, okay? And guess what? You are a balloon right now. So now we are going to play a little bit with our breathing and our body. Every time you hear the sound, your body will grow as a balloon will do. And once you hear the sound, it means that your balloon is losing air, so you need to shrink, okay? So let's give it a try. You are all empty balloons. Everybody, lay down on the floor. When it's filled with air, 
and it's tight. It floats, right? So everybody pretending that you are a floating balloon. Oh. Play a little bit with the space around you. Very good. Very good. Now, let's pretend that your balloon is really, really big. And if you touch anything, your balloon will pop. Once you do that, if you are popping your balloon, I want you to use your body and your voice to make it happen, okay? Ready? Pop! Very good! Now, what about yours? How would you pop your own balloon? Remember, if you touch anything around you, your balloon can handle. So you need to use your voice and your body to pop, okay? <laughs> that was great, everyone! Did you have fun? Are you ready for some more? Yeah, that was only the warm-up. Now I'm going back inside so then I can show you a super cool and brand new game for us to play together. Let's have some more fun. Hello and welcome back. Are you ready to use body, creativity and memory skills? <laughs> so get ready because now you're going to have some challenges. And the first challenge is you need to know your name. Ah, come on! That's not even a challenge. I do know my name, and I bet you know yours as well, right? However, do you know how to spell it? Do you know each letter to write your name? Well, if you don't know by heart, it's fine. Get a piece of paper and write it down, just like I did. See? This is my name. My name is Isadora. I Z A D O R A. And what about your name? What are the letters that you use to write? Here is your second challenge. Read the letters of your name a few times until you remember them all. Okay? You need to know by heart. Can you give it a try and see if you remember all the letters? Great. So now you are ready for the next level. You will create a body motion for each letter of your name, okay? But pay attention. If you do have a letter that repeats, you will use the same body motion for this letter. I am going to use my name as an example. As you can see, the name Isadora has seven letters and one letter that repeats the letter A. So instead of creating seven motions for my name, I will create six. Hey, I'm back. Do you want to see the motion that I created to my letters? I, Z, A, D, O, R, A. And what about you? Did you create your own motions? So you are ready for the final challenge of this activity. Play a little bit with your memory. First, spell your own name. I-Z-A-D-O-R-A. -A. Then spell with emotions. I-Z-A-D-O-R-A. A. Then try to use only the motions to say your name. Do you think you can challenge yourself a little bit more? Do you think you can say your name backwards? A R O D A Z I and then use the motions backwards as well. This activity is for you to play as many ways as you want and as many times as you want as well. Invite your parents, invite your friends, whoever you want to play along. Okay? I hope you have a lot of fun. Bye-bye!